हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर सोनाली तावडे आय एम अ प्रॅक्टिसिंग गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट अँड फर्टिलिटी स्पेशलिस्ट इन मुंबई टुडे विल डिस्कस द रोल ऑफ हिस्ट्रो लॅप्रोस्कोपी इन मॅनेजमेंट ऑफ इनफर्टिलिटी हिस्ट्रो लॅप्रोस्कोपी इज एंडोस्कोपिक प्रोसिजर वेअर वी पुट अ स्मॉल टेलिस्कोप इन द ॲबडमिनल कॅविटी टू चेक द फिमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव्ह ऑर्गन्स लाईक युट्रस द फेलोपियन ट्यूब्स ओवरीज पाऊच ऑफ डगलस अँड द सराउंडिंग टिश्यू This is usually indicated in cases of fibroids, the endometriosis, pelvic inflammatory diseases, tubal pathologies like hydrosalpings, pyosalpings, tubal blocks, ovarian cyst like complex cyst or chocolate cyst, tubal ovarian masses. Some cases of unexplained infertility where the simple treatment measures do not help to achieve pregnancy, they may also go for hysterolaparoscopy. Hysteroscopy alone usually deals with the lesions in the endometrial cavity like septum, adhesions, submucous fibroids or endometrial polyps. Hysteroscopic corneal granulation can help to open the corneal tubal blocks. Some cases of severe adhesions like in Asherman syndrome or big submucous fibroids may need a second look or a re-look hysteroscopy. Those patients who are going for IVF may or may not need a laparoscopy, but usually hysteroscopy is indicated in such cases, especially if they have history of recurrent implantation failure or repeated miscarriages. This procedure usually requires modern equipment, skilled surgeon with expertise and a very good OT setup. So if you are going for this procedure, please check if you are doing it at the right place and in the right hands. Histolaparoscopy definitely plays a very crucial role in the management of infertility. But before that, it is always better to discuss with your fertility specialist or gynecologist if there are what are the benefits and risk involved in this procedure, in particularly your case. If you want to consult with me or take my opinion, please check my library profile. Thank you.